Hello guys and welcome to another series on my channel. This is this game here. Um, I have not learned the title. I literally downloaded it just a few moments ago. Let's just get into it and I'm gonna tell you why. Okay guys, I have no idea what this game is about. Okay, let's hear this. I'm actually pretty excited about this game. was thought to be the domain of the gods, a paradise where the souls of the departed could rest forevermore. Oh, how wrong we were. In the face of Rena's unimaginable technology, its soldiers clad in huge, shining armor, and its fearsome beasts known as Zoogles, the prosperity and bounty of Dana all but disappeared overnight. That was 300 years ago. The world of Dana fell under Renin rule, and its new masters split the land into five distinct realms. And now today, Orbis Calaglia, one of the Renin's five realms. It is ruled over by the tyrant Balsef, Lord of the Firemaster Corps. Unrelenting fire scorches this barren wasteland. Dust storms course over the rocks and crags, and no relief is to be found from the oppressive heat. The Danon people toil as slaves. Day after day they suffer, under the ruthless oppression of the Renin soldiers, with only one hope of escape. Death. Only in death is their agony finally brought to an end. They have forgotten what it means to be free. So complete is the Renin's domination. What is that, uh, that thing on the hands there? What the hell happened? Uh, Iron Mask? Let me. Huh. What is this? Some kind of slave support group? Mind your own business, you work All with- Alright! Third squad! Time to regroup! Go on, get moving! Hey! Wait for me! Thank you, Iron Mask. Ooh. It's okay, Cole. Are you hurt? No, I'm fine. Iron Mask, you... you're bleeding. Hmm? We need to get you looked at by Doc. That bad, huh? Better safe than sorry, I suppose. Guess we're in the game! Ha! Okay, we Iron Mask. Uh, guess this is the guy we're playing as. The reason I want to play... I saw this, like, a long time ago? Uh, or some a while ago, when it just came out. When the game just came out, I looked at it. And I thought, oh my god, this game we need to play at some point. Then today, I watched this trailer. Let's just talk to this guy. Sorry to trouble you, Doc. Hmm. Look after yourself and there'd be no need for sorries, would there? Now sit. So, still unable to remember anything, I take it? Blank as always. Nothing but that strange dream. No face, no memories. Unable to feel pain, yet only too eager to take on everybody else's. You may not be able to feel pain, but that doesn't mean you can't be wounded, just like everyone else. If you're not more careful, you'll wind up dead without even realizing it one of these days. I watched another slave die today. More corpses than I care to count. Unfortunately, that's hardly a rare sight around these parts. Danons are always dying, and the Renans just watch. How long can this continue? Why doesn't anyone stand and fight? If only it were so simple, my friend. There have certainly been uprisings, all right. Three centuries worth of the damn things. As for all the good they've done, take a look around and judge for yourself. <sighs> there. That should just about do it. Now, do me a favor and try to stay out of trouble so the wound doesn't open again. Work will be wrapping up for the day soon enough. Don't sit around here. Go out and feel the breeze against your skin. Even a slave's entitled to that. 
Just do me a favor and keep a low profile, all right? You stand out enough in that mask as it is. Okay, so the reason I will want to play it, because I guess when this episode is out, when this... Oh my god, stop talking! Please! When this episode is out, the update is... or the DLC is already out. Sorted online DLC. I'm not waiting for that! So now we're starting this game. Screw all my other series. This is gonna be focused down now. One Piece is uh, also coming out and Kitchen. But this is gonna be my focus uh, for a while now. Because... I want to play this DLC so badly. And actually, the story is actually pretty interesting. I really like the design of these. The surrounding. This looks awesome. Oh, I'm supposed to go here. Look lively, slaves. Let's see some work around here. Okay, I'm ready to work. And these cutscenes look sick! Oh my god, I'm excited for this game. What's happening? Guess our assistant. Are we gonna join him? Please. Grenar. Oh, guess we're not with them. Who's that? Guess she's gone. Hmm? What do they expect from us all on such short notice? Guess she's here. Uh hello? Hey, you're over there! No move! Go now! Uh -huh. Hurry, get moving! Stay still! You cost us a lot of trouble, you know. Now we can do this the easy way or not. <laughs> Damn, he has good to fight, man. He's insane, this guy. And now this guy is here. Are we gonna fight? Let me play. Come on. Okay, let's not touch them. Good idea. Do not touch her. Um, I guess we got away. You all missed your chance to become lord. Which means you lot live and die for me, the mighty Balsaf! 
got that through your skulls? Now hurry up and bring me Shion! Yes, yes, sir! sir. <laughs> Even the drink's lost its appeal. Someone's in a bad mood. Lord Wolsey, ruler of Orbis Calaglia. Ah, but it's wild beast you prefer, isn't it? Do forgive me. Ganabel Valkyris. What do you want? From what I hear, you seem to be having some trouble over there in Calaglia. As a fellow lord, I merely thought to ask whether I could be of any assistance to you. Enough with the false pretense. I can tell a rat when it's sniffing around. Forgive me, I can only imagine the emotional toll failing to ascend the throne not once but twice must take. A most distressing state of affairs. Shut up! It's none of your concern. The crown contest is proceeding apace, and so quickly, I must say. It won't be long before the victor is crowned as the new sovereign. I look forward to it, and you can be sure I won't forget our little chat. Nor will I. Until next time. Uh, where? You awake? Who are you? The name's Tilsa. I'm the medical officer for the Crimson Crows. You're in one of our safe houses. Don't tell me you've never heard of us. We're the resistance for the Danon people. Crows ride! In the way of the Bright Eyes' best laid plans. The Danon resistance? I didn't know such a thing existed. Oh, we exist all right. Though I guess we're not as famous as I thought we were. That woman I was with. Oh, yeah. She's quite the character, isn't she? Zephyr should be interrogating her over in the slammer as we speak. You locked her up? Why? Why? Go take a look for yourself if you're so interested. Okay, fine. Let's go. Hey! What are you doing? What are you doing? So you're finally awake, huh? What's going on here? What did she ever- Mind your business. So even if you don't mean to hurt somebody, if they touch you, they get electrocuted, huh? It doesn't seem to be poison or magic. Is this the reason Balsef's soldiers were after you? Guess she's not gonna talk. For the last several days, Balsef's forces have been getting pretty restless. When we looked into it deeper, the word thorns came up over and over again. And now, we come across Miss Prickly herself. Drop the attitude. Did you really think we wouldn't find out anything about you? Miss Shion Imeris? That's her name, you mean? Jeez. You didn't figure it out already? What is she? Yeah, that's right. This lady's got herself a surname. Which means one thing, she's a Renan, our enemy. Yeah, but she was being chased by Renan soldiers. So then, why? That's exactly what we're trying to figure out. After all, aside from the clothes they wear, there's only one way to tell a Dan from a Renan. And that's whether their eyes light up or not. Ain't that right, bright eyes? Big talk for someone who can't even use astral arts. Embedded. Don't you call us embedded! Look! You see the stone your people embedded in me? And there isn't one. Because we gouged them out the day we swore to rise up against your kind. Not to rest until every last Faith, one of you is- We Danons may not be capable of using astral arts. But it looks like those thorns of yours won't do you much good in escaping here either. Still, inflicting pain on anyone who comes near you. You think this curse is some kind of great ability? No! <laughs> Fair enough. All I know is Balsef must have his eye on you for a damn good reason. And until we find out why... <laughs> An ambush! They must have tracked us down. Evacuate his plan. Hurry! And bring the girl. If she gives you any trouble, wave a spear in her face. I got it. Hey, Iron Mask! Sorry, but right now it's everyone for themselves. What about you? I'm going to welcome our guests. Don't go dying on me. Come on, move. And don't try anything funny. Guess we got a sword! Um, uh, guess this way. Yeah, seems like we are gonna do a battle. Oh, Come on, it bring it up. You there. Where's the Renan girl who was here? Spit it out! I want an answer, insurgent! How's this for an answer? Go to hell! You dare address a Renan armored soldier that way? I'll show you embedded! Haha, <laughs> <laughs> we're fighting! I actually beat one of those Renan soldiers. And it was not even hard. I have to survive this no matter what. Um, can I can I walk away? <laughs> Guess I can't. Haha. 
Woo! I didn't know I could do this. I guess we have to keep going. Uh, wrong way. She got a gun. How, how the hell did she get a gun? Damn it! I was so close. What the? You've got some kind of death wish? Those are armored soldiers. You're shut up and get out of here while you still can. Step aside, slave. These are Renan affairs you're meddling in. Bring it on. Hey. We've got a better chance working together. Besides, I don't much feel like being indebted to a Danon. <sighs> Fine, suit yourself. Go down already, just... There we go. Easy. Why did you help me? I don't know. What could a Danon like you possibly gain from helping a Renan like me? Trust me, I've no great love for Renans. I guess I'm just not as consumed with hatred as some... What? Have we met somewhere before? Me? Friends with a Danon? Can't say I've had the pleasure. Well, when you put it like that... Yeah, silly question. I don't remember anything about my past. Don't have any clues to go on either. Not even my own face. Let me get this straight. You don't know what you look like, but you thought I might somehow recognize you? <laughs> Something like that. Guess my helping you back there wasn't as self-sacrificing as I made it out to be. Besides, I can't feel pain anyway. So it's not like... Wait, you really can't feel pain? Nope. Uh, yeah, it's just another thing I don't have. No pain, no face, no memories. I only know one thing about myself. That's that I'm a slave. What about your name? You must have one, right? Iron Mask. Got the name from the person who found me. Said that this way I wouldn't forget I had a real name out there somewhere. So where to next? Outside, silly. What do you think we fought all this way for? Yeah, let's head outside. What is this? Hey, it's this guy again. Glad to see you made it. I heard you managed to escape, but I didn't expect to see old Iron Mask with you. In any case, we're all wanted by the Renans. It'll be easier for everyone if you both just come with me. Where are the others? They're waiting for us up ahead. Come on. <laughs> Crap. where you are, dissidents. Oh, he got a cape. How badly did they want to destroy this hideout? <laughs> Apprehend the traitor! Slaughter the rest! <laughs> Look out! <laughs> What is happening? Understand. Possible. The master core. He was embedded within her all along. No matter. Kill her if you have to. Just retrieve the core. Attack! Everyone. <laughs> you okay? Your arms. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. 
How about that? Guess it's just as well I can't feel it, huh? You're not in agony? Wait, are you serious? Hold still. Huh? No, oh, nice. It's one of my healing arts. A sword that sears the hand of he who wields it, and a healing art to mend. A man numb to pain, and a woman whose very touch deals nothing but. All right, let's rout the bastards and finish them off before the surviving stragglers have a chance to regroup. Iron Mask, you coming? Definitely. So I guess you're not planning on releasing me, huh? Sorry, you're coming with us. In that case, there's one thing you should know. No one uses that flaming sword without my say-so. You needn't worry on that score. I doubt many of us could get close to it in the first place, or would want to. The blazing sword. It just might be strong enough to match the power of a lord. No, maybe even to surpass it. Are you sure you're okay? Uh, what do you mean? Whoa, that sounds good. That soldier nailed you pretty good. They only hit my master core, so I'll be fine. And the flames weren't even hot. It's probably because they're just a manifestation of the astral energy. Honestly, I'm more surprised that you really are incapable of feeling pain. Did you think I was faking? No, I believed you. I guess seeing you stay calm while bearing those burns to your hands just really made it hit home for me. Guess we just need to get out. That's... Glanamede Castle. Stronghold of Lord Balsef. Self-imposed ruler of all Calaglia. I've never seen it from this close before. That's it, all right. And next to it are the Gates of Fire. Take a good long look while you still can. That wall is what we've come to tear down. The only thing standing between us and freedom. If you get close to a Zoogle, they'll attack. Like I really don't have any way. Oh, nice. He's here now. Okay, I need to save her because she is gonna heal up. So. Oh. There we go. Don't fight any enemies you can otherwise avoid, alright? Makes sense. If we try to take them all on, there'll be no end in sight. You sure won't hear me complaining. But I wanna fight him! <laughs> it's good. Uh, can you heal me up? Thank you. Guys, I need the experience. Yeah, we need the experience, so... Oh, there's something I can climb here? Ooh, what did we get here? Nice. There's also a chest here. Let's stop a moment to catch our breath. But I barely worked up a sweat. Speak for yourself. What do you want, a medal? Doesn't look like we're being followed. Fail to grab these rare moments of quiet when you can. You'll end up regretting it later. You're the boss. A master core, huh? Now I see. So that's why Balsef's cronies were so desperate to catch her. Is that what it's called? The jewel in her chest? Oh, right. You don't remember a damn thing, do you? Ah, fair enough. I guess it's time to fill you back in. I'm so, ready to this. You ever wonder Come on. why we Danons are made to work ourselves to the bone, day in, day out? Nope. Well, when you Not at all. I always just assumed we were mining resources for them. And don't you think it'd be quicker if they used all that high-powered tech they have? Why go to all the trouble of relying on weak human labor? Why do? Tell me. What the Renans are really after isn't resources or minerals. It's astral energy. Um, what's that? They're harvesting the astral energy that sleeps inside all matter in life forms. Oh. They're doing it the same way they have for the past 300 years. Using us Danans as mere siphon. Right. They have machines for minerals, but extracting from Danans requires spirit cores. Any astral energy collected passes through a spirit vessel on its way to being stored in a master core. But why go to the trouble of collecting all this energy in the first place? Do they really need all that juice just to use astral arts? It determines the sovereign. Sovereign? Is that the Renan ruler? Exactly. Five lords, each doing whatever it takes to gather as much astral energy as they can and store it in their master cores. 
Whichever of them manages to accumulate the most power at the end of their contest is crowned the ruler of the Renan Motherland. A new crown contest, as they call it, is held every decade or so. So you see, the Master Cores are the receptacles in which the Lords store their power. And we Danans are sacrificed, so the Renans can choose their new ruler. That's insane! You're telling me that's what our people have been dying for this whole time?! Relax, hero. You're not the only one who's bent out of shape about the whole thing. There are two things that I haven't been able to get my head around yet. What business would a Renan have stealing a Master Core? And what's the deal with that blazing sword? I think the sword is a physical manifestation of the Master Core's astral energy. As for why it took the shape of a sword, well, I don't know any more than you do. Honest. And that stuff about needing your permission to use it? What was that about? I'm the only one of us who can control the Master Core to some extent. Without me to adjust the flow of astral energy, the sword can't take a physical form. What do you want out of this? You may be one of them, but you don't strike me as the ruthless oppressor type. I'm going to take down all of the lords. Never thought I'd say this, but I like the cut of your jib, Renan. <laughs> as far as we're concerned, the struggle continues either way. And with that sword on our side, our chances of victory just increased. That is, of course, assuming we can count the two of you in. Fine by me. After all, it sounds like we're after the same thing anyway. Honestly, I'm still a little confused by all this. But if it's a choice between this or going back to being a slave, then I choose to fight. Then it's settled. Together, we'll overthrow the Renan Lords. And first up on that chopping block is Balsef, the wild beast. Sound good? Yeah, sure. I'm totally in. What's happening? Huh, she got a nightmare. We have another secret hideout in Ulzebek, not far from here. We should be able to meet up with our comrades there. Yes, we're going there next episode. Oh, nice, she's here now as well. Nice. I'm gonna end it here. Guys, this was amazing. I'm so excited for this continuing this game. Uh, I wanna try to get as many episodes out as possible, as fast as possible. I'm gonna say thank you for joining me for the first episode, and I hope I see you all in the next one. Bye.